Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper back at you with another massive tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to be putting out a lot of these to get back into the groove of making tutorials again. And I've made a bunch of really sweet, massive patches that I think you guys will really like and enjoy learning how to make. So this is the track I've got and we're going to learn how to make this synth stab in massive. So let's go ahead and listen to the track to all together. And this is the massive patch by itself. As you can see, it's just a couple of notes hitting together, no big deal. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna put in a new MIDI track, okay? And then I'm gonna put in that same thing and then drop massive onto the channel. So close already. So the first thing we're gonna do is add an LFO to these oscillators over here just so we can get the kind of motion going that we need. And I'm gonna turn that rate all the way up just so it's fluctuating very, very quickly. I'm gonna turn the amp down so it's only adding a little bit of that fluctuation to the actual sounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it onto the pitch control of each of these oscillators and I'm gonna bring it up 24. So as you can hear, it's only adding a little bit, but if once we start messing with the oscillators, it will be a little bit more noticeable. But again, our goal with this isn't to make a crazy sort of LFO sound that everyone can hear and it's very prominent. Our, our goal here is just to add a little bit of character to the overall sound that's coming out in the end. I'm gonna turn these amplifiers up, turn math three on this uh, second oscillator over here. And I'm gonna turn that second oscillator down an octave. Turn the wave position all the way over right. And as you can see right now, it's really kind of grimy, but we're gonna take care of that with the filter up here in a second. So just relax. For this third oscillator, bring it up two octaves to 24. That's the way to do that. Wave table all the way over. We're gonna turn it on carbon which is all the way down here, the analog, uh, analog electric wavetable is at the bottom. And maybe just pull back the intensity just a little bit. And we're gonna send all of these right to filter one. And we can add a little bit of phase to that third oscillator. And we're gonna add a little bit of white noise. Great, no need the feedback. Parabolic shaper down here, drive it up. Great, and let's come into this envelope now, in envelope one, and apply it to the filter up here. And just turn it up just a little bit. And then pull it up to about even, and then drop it on the low pass four. And now we can adjust that envelope just a tad, bring the decay about to nine o'clock and bring back the level. Cool, huh? And it still doesn't sound awesome, but we can adjust that sound, the whole sound together a little bit more by using this final envelope here, the main envelope. I'm gonna bring the attack up a bit Drop that, uh, maybe drop that back on the attack and bring back that level and boost up the release time. Cool, go ahead right into here and bring on that dimension expander that everybody loves. Pull it up. And who isn't a fan of reverb? Raise your hand. <laughs> Did you raise your hand? Doesn't matter, I can't see you. But anyway, everybody's a fan of reverb. And just a little bit, make it really big and really dense and color it up. So that's a lot of fun. I think that sounds pretty sweet. We can maybe adjust the EQ a little bit, turn it on. Oof, oof. Oh, boost it, boost it. 
Oh my goodness, did you hear that? That. See, that's really flat, but if you boost it. Oh my God, that punch. Oh my God. So that's almost orgasmic. And I think that's pretty much where we want to be. Uh, a final thing you might do is drop an EQ8 on it and just roll over that, uh, you know, that really nasty little bit. So you can hear it's a little bit different, and uh, if you wanted to, you can go back in here and switch, you know, maybe move around some of these wavetable positions, some of the intensities, maybe mess with the filter and how it's working. But uh, I mean, for the most part, it sounds pretty good. We can also add the, the filter over here to the panning, which, you know, might be a little bit of fun. Just to add a little bit more movement to it. But I mean, that's pretty close to my original I'm gonna go ahead and throw both the patches, the one from the track itself and the one we've just recreated up on the blog. You can go download it. I mean, we're pretty close. It's a pretty dope sound. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.